Thank you for watching this video on angel investors in Nigeria. Who they are, what they invest in, where they invest, and how you can meet or contact them. You're in great hands. My team has got substantial multi-decade experience in working with African investors. I've run an African stock exchange and an investment bank focused on Africa, and my team runs AFSIC Investing in Africa, perhaps Africa's most important investment event. There's a lot of information in this video, but if you really want to get maximum benefit from our experience, whether you're an investor yourself or if you want to apply for investment, make sure you subscribe to our email list or contact us so that we can send you further details on the next steps. All the links required are below this video in YouTube or on our webpage if you're on one of our websites, dashboards or portals. Before we start, if you're looking to raise money from an angel investor in Nigeria, I strongly recommend that you join our Africa business community today absolutely for free. Again, links are in the YouTube video description if you're watching on YouTube and on our webpage if you're on our website. Once you've joined our Africa business community, we'll promote you and your investment opportunity in Nigeria free of charge. Okay, so let's get going and talk about angel investors in Nigeria and also a broader type of investors in Nigeria. So what type of investors are there that focus on Nigeria? Well, it's not a simple answer as there are quite a number of ways in which you can segment Nigerian investors. For instance, by the business sector in which they invest or where they're based. Clearly, a number of angel investors in Nigeria are based in Nigeria, but a larger number are actually based globally, perhaps in the US, Europe, Asia, or even elsewhere in Africa. And as mentioned before, we've built up a very extensive list of, the, of these investors. So don't forget to join our Africa business community today. So let's start by looking at investors who make investment decisions wholly on behalf of themselves or the company that they work for. This is versus professional investors who are paid to invest on behalf of third parties. In other words, the professional investors are investing on behalf of other investors. People who, ben who invest for their own benefit are often called private investors. They could be successful businessmen or women based inside or outside Nigeria who invest directly into companies or shares in Nigeria looking to make money specifically for themselves. Or they could be companies looking to grow in Nigeria. For instance, a tech company might make an angel investment into a tech company in Nigeria or even elsewhere in Africa. The key here is that both the companies and the individuals in this case are looking for investments solely to benefit themselves. There are literally hundreds of thousands of these angel investors who might be prepared to look at investing into any business project or concept in Nigeria. Most are actually companies or individuals based outside Nigeria. So what are the differences between the corporates and private investors? In general, corporate investors make larger investments than private investors. However, corporate investors are likely to be highly restricted to investing only into companies in their exact same or similar type of businesses. Private individual investors will, with only a small number of exceptions, invest smaller amounts than professional or corporate investors. But because they're investing on their own behalf, they've got much greater flexibility in what they can invest into when compared to professional investors who may have their hands tied as to what they can invest into by a fund restriction. Private investors who put money into very early stage projects in Nigeria are known as angel investors in Nigeria or venture capital investors in Nigeria. While there are a large number of these types of investors, the difficulty is often finding out who they are and what they're looking for. They're most likely based outside of Nigeria and have very little networks within Nigeria and as a result never get shown investment opportunities that may be of interest to them. To facilitate the flow of information on business and investment opportunities to these types of investors, our team runs a digital Africa business opportunities dashboard, which is designed to bring all sorts of investment opportunities to the forefront of private investors' attention. So look for the links below the video on YouTube or on the webpage if you're on one of our websites, so you can add yourself to our Africa business community today free of charge if you want your project to be discovered by this type of investor. Okay, so we talked about the type of investors, including private investors, family offices and companies who are looking to invest into angel investments in Nigeria on their own behalf. The other type of investor is a professional investor. 
Professional investors get paid to invest other people's money. This type of investor is generally regulated in their home country by the National Financial Services Authority and is often referred to as an institutional investor or fund manager. Uh, angel investors who are uh, focused on Nigeria may be based in Nigeria or even outside of Africa or elsewhere in Africa. So every country in Africa has its own institutional investors and Nigeria has a number of uh, well-known angel investors. Um, they tend to focus on investments uh, in Nigeria because they know the country well and perhaps because of exchange controls. Uh, and there are a substantial number of these in uh, Nigeria. But there are also a large number of angel investors that are institutional investors focused on Nigeria outside of Africa. For instance, in the US, UK, France, Germany and Switzerland. And these can range from those looking for investments that are quite substantial to uh, much smaller ones. They're often really severely restricted in what they can invest into, although a few like hedge funds could have an unrestricted ability to invest into what they want at any particular time. But in general, there's no point in asking an angel investor uh, focused on agriculture projects to look at exciting, investing into a new and exciting uh, tech company. As most likely, however much they like the investment merits of the tech company, they're simply not allowed to invest in it as a result of prohibitions included in their, included in their investment mandate. So as a result, you need to understand the investment mandates or parameters of these investors before you approach them. A common restriction for angel investors in Nigeria is based on sector. As we've, as we've um, heard before, some may be uh, focused on financial services, others might be impact focused. There are also further restrictions on the type of investors, investments that a fund manager can make. Some are restricted to investing in shares listed on, the, on stock exchanges. They're known as public equity investors. Others are the opposite and can only invest in companies that are not listed on a stock exchange. And those are known as private equity investors. And others provide debt finance and others trade finance. So knowing what each investor focuses on is important in learning which investor might be of greatest assistance to you in raising funding. And as a reminder, we've developed one of the largest networks of investors globally focused on Africa. And if you subscribe to our mailers or become a member of our Africa business community today, then we'll keep you updated on the various options that we offer for you to connect with these investors. Joining is free, so why not do it while you're watching this video? So we've discussed the difference between private and company angel investors investing on their own behalf and institutional investors who manage money for a fee from other investors. We've also talked about the fact that some investors focus on specific business sectors and others can only invest in certain types of investment instruments, for example, listed shares. Now it's time to discuss how to meet or connect with them. And that's another area where we can really assist you. We've got a number of digital platforms that are free for you to use where you can upload your investment idea and it can then be reviewed by our large network of investors and parties interested in Africa. As mentioned before, these are free to use. So first we suggest you follow links as to how to use our Africa business community free. Once a member, you'll be able to post your own business and investment opportunities on our Africa business opportunities dashboard. For those wanting to meet the Africa investors at a physical event, I highly recommend attending our AFSIC Investing in Africa event, which is perhaps Africa's most important investment event and a great place to connect with investors focused on Africa. So on that note, I'd like to thank you very much for having watched this video right to the end. Don't forget your next step is to become a member of our Africa business community. It's free, so why not do that right now? Thank you.